Welcome to my channel, YouTubers. Uh, in this video, we're going to be reviewing some Last Fit bulbs, LED bulbs for my 2021 F-150. Um, I just did a review for them for my Miata and my Audi. Uh, they sent me some stuff for uh, my F-150, so I'm going to throw them in there. And uh, I'm going to give you guys some footage of night driving, uh, how bright they are after. So let's get to installing them. All right, so they did send me some bulbs, uh, high beam, low beam, fog light, and marker. So that's my 21 F-150. So I'm gonna be replacing high beam, low beam, uh, the orange marker and the fog lights. It's gonna be all white and then the marker is obviously, obviously orange. You could put a white one in there, but the lens is orange. So it's gonna be kind of like a very light orange. So I told them to just send me an amber because I want it to be like a very deep amber. So all these bulbs here, you do it from the wheel well. You basically take out the plastic liner that's on here and you get through all the bulbs from the back here. You basically just turn the tire to the right to the this side to give you more room and then turn the tires to the left to, to the other side. So I'll show you guys when I do it. Uh, let's pop them in and see how bright they are. They did send me this uh, heavy duty air inflator too for your tires. Um, this is more for SUV or bigger trucks, which is what I got. So this is going to be on a separate video, but if you guys are interested, uh, there will be another video released the same time as these bulbs, uh, reviewing all the features of this, uh, battery operated, uh, air compressor. All right. So let's see what we got here. So it does come with little gloves in case you don't want to get your hands dirty. Got two bulbs there. I think I believe they all come with gloves. They all have one year warranty. I've had them, come on. I only have one hand, I'm trying to get this thing to fall down. Okay, maybe this one won't. Okay, this one here comes with a little extra O-rings. Again, more gloves. I don't really typically use gloves. Some nice quality bulbs. These do have a coin fan built into them because um, LEDs, they don't get as hot as like a regular bulb, but they still get hot. Don't get me wrong. If you get high power LEDs, you put your finger on them, it will burn your finger. They do get hot. Don't assume that because it's LEDs, they never get hot because they do. So you get extra O-rings in case your O-ring goes bad. But that one has a, a built-in fans to keep it cool. This one does too. This one here, if I can get it open today. Let me get two hands, one second. All right, we opened it. Got more gloves here. So we got three pairs of gloves. I'll save them for something. And again, same style. Probably does have a fan. I think they all have a fan. Yep, has a little built-in fan there that turns on when the bulb turns on to keep the LED chip and the electronics nice and cool. So yeah, I got these three and then these here that's the bulb for f-150 i'll have links for all of these on the description in case you do have the same truck it should fit uh 21 to 24 f-150s you could even fit the older ones but i'm not gonna promise it will so as long as you have this body style here and you have the the peasant headlights the basic ones like i do unlike if you have the fancy ones you have leds already but if you have the the loser headlights, then uh, these are for you. Give you a nice upgrade over the factory yellow bulbs, that's for sure. So let's uh, throw them in. All right, so like I said, turn the wheel all the way to the right, that way you can access the driver's side and then do the opposite for the other side. So we're gonna get in here and I'm gonna get a light and we have some uh, screws we gotta remove from in here. All right, so on this side, you have two screws you gotta take out, one here, one up here, and then this one is just a twist lock. So let's see if I can show you that. Oh, let me just twist it until it comes back. That's released, and then pull it right out. And then this one here, it is a number seven socket. Put 
put it on a little tray here. Oh, there's one more down here. I'm sorry. It's dark down there. I don't see it. All right. <clears throat> now you're going to have to basically undo this from here, and you're going to have to fold it out of the way. So if I could do one hand, just to get it out of this tab here. There you go. Just so you can get to it. Then you're gonna shove this in front of the tire. It's kind of a pain in the butt. It's not too, too bad. Bend that like that and keep working it. Like that, so you have a nice open and the tire would actually hold that in place. That's why when you turn the tire, it helps you in two ways. It gives you room and it holds this for you. So you can pop it back in. Now you have access to all the bulbs on the back of it. If I can focus here. Now you remove those caps, replace the bulbs and the fog lights right there. So let's replace them. All right, so the H10 is gonna be for the fog light. You unplug it, then twist, put the new bulb and plug it back in. Up there, this little rubber cover just comes right out. Again, same thing, unplug it, take it out, plug it in and twist back on. And then the other one is all the way up there. You, It'll be hard for me to, your hand can easily get to it. It's just, uh, it's gonna be hard for me to video. But again, same thing as this, just unplug it and uh, change it out. And then I'll put it back together and I'll show you guys how it looks. And then uh, after that, we're gonna go, we're gonna wait till it gets dark and we're gonna show you uh, how bright they are at night. All right, so I have all of them installed. You don't even you don't even know how bright this is. This is super bright. The video does no justice. We are gonna go for a ride um, and see how bright they are on the road. But these are so bright, you can barely look at them. They look wicked nice. So let's go for a ride and see how they look at night. By the way, uh, my high beams and low beams are on at the same time because I changed the coating on the truck. Um, if you get four scan, which is similar to a, it's close closer to a factory tool than a regular scanner. Um, you can change coating on it and make it so the fog lights stay on all the time and all that. I did change it on this truck. So if you have the same truck, uh, you when you turn your high beam on, your low beam might go off. If you want to change that, there's plenty of videos on YouTube. But yeah, so that's how I can get all my lights to stay on. All right, so this is how bright it is, super bright. The blinker is nice and bright. So when I go a little over here, I'm gonna turn the high beams on. Ready? High beams, high beams, so extremely bright, way, way, way better than stock. So yeah, that's awesome. Really uh, recommend these lights. Last Fit has been making one of the best LED bulbs uh, for a great price lately. So uh, head over to the link below and I order some for your car or truck. They have it for pretty much any vehicle. And I uh, 100% recommend this company. All right, guys. See you guys on the next one. Take care.